Hey folks, I'm Chris and I'm your Commander Mechanic. Recently I ranked all 20 of the Legends Retold box toppers from Dominaria United, and I shocked some people with my lowest ranked of them, Hazazon, Shaper of Sand. Naturally, several people challenged me in the comments, on Twitter, and in Discord to build for this dusty dude, so let's take a look at him. Hazazon is a 3-mana Naya, red, green, white, human warrior that reads Desert Walk meaning he's unblockable if the defending player controls a desert. You may play deserts from your graveyard. And whenever a desert enters a battlefield under your control, you make two 1-1 one, one red, green, and white sand warrior creature tokens. So naturally, Hazazon wants to focus on deserts, an obscure land subtype. This is what makes him tough to build around, because when I say obscure, I mean obscure. There are only 16 deserts in our colors that range from terrible, like the filter land painted bluffs, to mediocre in hostile desert, to okay in Ramanap ruins. Overall, in order to build with our commander in mind, you are forced to play with these subpar lands. The most frustrating part is how counterintuitive deserts are to your strategy. Hazazon needs three colors, but the majority of deserts make only colorless mana. Meaning, if you need to play a desert before Hazazon comes down, not only are you losing out on your two 1-1 one, one Sand Warriors, but you're potentially delaying when you can cast Hazazon by a whole turn or more, and putting you behind the curve. But those are the negatives. We need to make some deck-building accommodations to get the most synergy out of our commander, so let's look at the positives. Mainly, making two 1-1s one, on Landfall is very good. There's a lot we can do with that, like trigger Cathar's Crusade to make the whole team a lot bigger, or trigger Perforos, God of the Forge, to deal some serious damage to our opponents. These are both going to be our win conditions, non-combat with enters the battlefield effects, Perforos, Impact Tremors, and Witty Roastmaster, for instance, all getting us there. And our backup win condition is going to be combat, with strong anthems like Cathar's Crusade, Ogre Battle Driver and Knight of New Alara, who gives our little tokens plus three plus three on his own, we are going to be able to get some punchies too. From there, we basically take a landfall shell and insert deserts. We want multiple land drops to keep cranking out a ton of bodies, so we'll include Exploration, Wayward Swordtooth, and Oracle of Muldaya, getting three, four, or five land drops a turn if we're allowed to build up. Since Hazazon lets us play Deserts from the Graveyard, we want to get Deserts in there. Some, like Grasping Dunes, help do this for us while potentially acting as removal. But including ways to sacrifice your lands, like on Goblin Trenches, Nahiri's Lithoforming, or good old Zurin Orb, are going to be our best bets to hop the train to Value Town. We could also rebuy our Deserts with effects that let us pick them up. Bounce lands like Gruel Turf work here, so does Living Twister, and Mina and Den Wildborn. Then we've got ways to get all of our deserts into play at once. Scape Shift and Reshape the Earth could both be game enders for us, pulling all of our deserts into play at once and making us a massive squad. Now lastly, I wanted to make use of that Desert Walk ability on Hazazon, but you can't predict who's going to be playing deserts, so let's give our opponents deserts. Harmless Offering, or Bizarre Trader, can donate lands to opponents, making Hazazon unblockable. With all of these lands and land drops, suiting him up with a Blackblade Reforged can result in a win by commander damage quicker than you'd think. If you're interested in how to make the most of this seemingly subpar commander, take a look at my list linked below. You'll see that I included an above average number of lands, since we'll be playing and sacrificing a lot of them and I included some pricier pieces by default to ensure we pack a punch and don't go out with a sandy rasp. Check out the full deck list by following the link to my sponsor, Moxfield. Moxfield is the best deck building platform in the world, making it easier than ever to search, sort, build, and organize your decks. With extensive playtest tools, I can even ensure that these decks are worth playing before showing them to you, something not every brewer can do. While you're there, be sure to follow my Moxfield profile for more brews from me. So have I come around on Hazazon's new groove? Is he better than the F tier I gave him initially? Well, he's certainly capable of more than I thought, but is he anything good or unique? I don't know, only time will tell. If we see more deserts, his stock goes up. 
Let me know if you've got a Hazazon brew and be sure to check out these other videos. It really helps the channel. Until next time, folks, good luck and have fun.